This is the story of a beautiful lady whose life was cut short by a jealous ex-husband she once dated. On July 7, 2021, the life of 43-year-old Tamara Potty, a mother of two, was tragically cut short by her ex-husband, Aubrey Potty, just because things were not working for them anymore and she wanted to move on. He could not handle it, so he killed her and then called the cops to inform them that he had killed Tamara because she was about to leave him. Tamara Potty was a loving mother to two daughters, Tia and Mia, and a dedicated professional. Originally from Butterworth in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, she moved to the UK in 2004 with Aubrey to start a family and seek better job opportunities. Tamara was a driven individual who pursued higher education and earned a master's degree in law. She worked hard to provide a better future for her children and herself. Tamara was a very happy person who lived her life to the fullest despite going to school. She bought a new car and enjoyed every little bit of it. Tamara and Aubrey had been married for 14 years before their relationship took a turn for the worse. Aubrey, also from South Africa, had a background in media and had worked in Pretoria before moving to the UK. Despite their initial hopes for a better life together, their marriage began to unravel, leading to their separation in February 2021. Though they had broken up, they continued to stay in contact for the sake of their daughters. The events of July 7, 2021, unfolded in a manner that no one could have anticipated. Tamara returned home around 1.30 a.m. with some co-workers. She invited them to stay over and rest for a few hours before heading home. While her co-workers slept downstairs, Tamara went to her bedroom on the second floor, where her daughter was also sleeping in an adjoining room. At about 3.30 a.m., Tamara's co-worker was awakened by the sounds of screams coming from upstairs. They quickly realized that something was terribly wrong. Tamara's ex-husband, Aubrey, was seen fleeing the scene, leaving behind a trail of horror. The co-worker immediately called the police, informing them that Tamara had been attacked by Aubrey. In a shocking turn of events, Aubrey himself called the police, admitting to attacking Tamara. He chillingly stated that she deserved it. By the time the police arrived, Aubrey had already fled the scene. They found Tamara with severe injuries and rushed her to the hospital. Despite their efforts, Tamara's injuries were too severe, and she was pronounced dead upon arrival. She had been brutally beaten and stabbed multiple times. The police investigation revealed a premeditated and gruesome plan carried out by Aubrey. On the day before the murder, Aubrey had an altercation with Tamara, demanding her phone and hitting her when she refused. He sent her a series of threatening text messages, one of which ominously stated, this is the last time you disrespected me. Aubrey's actions on the night of the murder were calculated and deliberate. He had broken into Tamara's house earlier in the evening while she was at work and hid inside, waiting for her return. He brought with him a hammer, knives, gloves, a metal exercise bar, and a cord, items that would later serve as evidence of his intent to commit a heinous crime. Aubrey set an alarm on his phone for 3.30 a.m., ensuring that Tamara would be asleep when he attacked. Using a metal exercise bar, he began to viciously beat her while she lay in bed. Tamara fought back, but she suffered multiple injuries in the process. Believing she was dead, Aubrey started to leave but returned when he heard a noise and another scream. He then proceeded to stab her eight times with one of the knives he had brought. 
Aubrey was arrested a few days after the murder and charged with Tamara's death. During the trial, the court heard about the events leading up to the attack, including Aubrey's attempts to control and intimidate Tamara. Despite their separation, Aubrey continued to exert control over her, monitoring her voicemails and attempting to access her phone. The prosecution painted a picture of a man who could not accept the end of his marriage and resorted to extreme violence to regain control. They argued that the murder was premeditated, as evidenced by the items Aubrey brought with him and the careful planning he undertook. Aubrey pleaded guilty to the murder, and during the sentencing, Judge Elizabeth Nichols condemned his actions. She highlighted the devastating impact on their children, stating that Aubrey had effectively deprived them of both parents, one through death and the other through the destruction of trust. She dismissed the notion that Aubrey's actions were the result of a mental breakdown, emphasizing that stress and upset over his job or divorce did not justify his cruelty. Judge Nichols' words were powerful and condemning, you waited in the house for your wife to return from a late-night care visit knowing that your daughter slept in the adjoining bedroom. So clear and considered were your intentions that you even set your phone alarm, giving yourself a chance to sleep and ensuring that your wife would be asleep before you attacked her. The murder of Tamara Potty is a heartbreaking example of the devastating effects of domestic violence. Her story highlights the need for greater awareness, support, and protection for victims. By sharing her story, we hope to shed light on the urgent need for change and to honor the memory of a woman whose life was tragically cut short. We hope Tamara Potty continues to rest in peace. May Tamara Potty's story inspire us to be vigilant, compassionate, and committed to ending violence in all its forms. In loving memory of Tamara Potty forever in our hearts.